My name is Roger Foote and I'm going to show you how to make a pinhole camera. This uh, is a three-quarter inch by eight inch uh, board. We're going to cut out the sides and we're going to make two of them eight inches long. Marking them out on the wood. Make sure your dimensions are accurate. You have an accurate ruler and uh, here we are cutting the uh, wood out to size. The second piece, uh, we want it the same as the first, so we're going to use it uh, to mark out the second piece. Cut it out to same size. The saw, by the way, has uh, had the guard removed so that it shows our saw cuts uh, easier for you. I'm marking on the sides of the wood and which is the right and which is the left. The next piece we're making is the front and we're doing the long dimension and again we measure out accurately and cut it off with the table saw and again mark top and bottom. There we're making uh, the top piece and uh, again cutting it off marking on the uh, which is going to be the inside of the camera showing the grain of the wood by the way grain should run long dimension on the wood. That's the last piece that we're cutting out. This is the bottom of the camera. Again, marking what is going to be the inside of the camera. This keeps all of our routing uh, accurate and uh, it positions everything properly. Now we're cutting off all of the short dimensions because we have an eight inch piece. We do have some waste to this wood. All the pieces uh, have to be cut to the same size. We just set up the table saw and make the cuts all pieces now should be pretty well roughed out. This shows you the pieces that we've cut. The one I'm holding right there is the front piece. And you notice we have made two sides. These are going to be made as a left and a right. Now we're going to make the bottom cut. This is a little dado cut. And since we don't have a dado saw blade, uh, that's one way of doing it. The bottom of your 4x5 holder, which I'm showing at this point. Uh, that's how you load the film into the holder. You should have a 4x5 holder in building this camera so that you can make sure that it uh, is going to fit properly and all your cuts are correct. The holder sits in the back of the camera and that was the location. You notice the bottom piece and the top piece are exactly the same width as the holder. The top of the holder has a, a little uh, projection point. This is a light trap. It keeps the light from coming in at the top of the camera. And we're going to make a slit in the top of the top piece to match where that light trap hits. It's just a little eighth inch deep by eighth inch wide cut, one saw blade uh, width. And you notice it just will sit right into the four by five holder. This also locks the 4x5 holder in so it doesn't accidentally slide out. At this point, uh, all the pieces uh, that are shaded in the plans have to be routed out. And we're showing the top piece. This is the last cut on the routing. Uh, and we use a 3 quarter inch router bit and a little guard on the router to uh, make sure that uh, all of the cuts are three quarter inches deep to match the three quarter inch width and wood. Here are the two sides and you'll notice that uh, we lay them end to end so that we can make a left piece and a right piece. Notice the angles are different. This is very critical. You don't want two right halves or two left halves. You need to make a mirror image of each other. The inside is five and a half inches that's the focal length, by the way, of the camera. And we're laying out that so that we can route it. We have a little rubber routing pad that uh, holds the wood uh, stable while we do the routing. If you notice, we don't have to use any clamps. This is uh, kind of a unique type of uh, arrangement, and it uh, makes the job go a lot easier. Now we're cutting that five and a half inch depth. We did the two sides at three-quarter inch from the same cut as the top, and then this is the uh, now the angle cut. We have to use a board for a guide, and we make the angle cut, 
and it's just easier at this point to use a chisel to knock out that last little hunk in between and uh, make sure it's smooth and so forth. It's just a little projection and here we're setting the pieces together making a trial fit and it's kind of hard to hold them together and uh, not have them fall apart but this also shows how the camera is going to go in and it'll make sure that the pieces are all going to fit when we nail them. They're all going to fit at this point so what we're going to do now is drill all of the holes. We use a one inch spade bit and come through and drill the front. Now we're going to drill the uh, bottom piece for your uh, tripod socket. We only drill about halfway through the wood with the spade bit and then uh, we use the T-nut is going to fit into the center and we select a drill bit that's going to be the same diameter as the T-nut and finish the cut with that going down through the center. The T-nut then will fit into the bottom piece of the wood. We use a hammer and a, another little piece of wood scrap and pound it into place. We now cut the wood plug off of a one inch dowel that fits into the hole of the, that we just made for the T-nut and it blocks off the back of the hole. What we're cutting here is the shutter and there's the clamp. We're making some final sandings uh, to the wood just make sure everything is smooth and nice knocking off all the rough edges and now we're going to paint the inside of the camera. It's easier to paint it now and if the wood is painted over the edges a little bit it just helps with the light trapping and make sure everything is uh, light tight and it's you get a good coat on the wood by painting it on the outside and then assembling the camera. The wood dowel now has to be fastened in make sure it's also painted black. At this point we're making the assembly all the pieces are, the black is dry, and we're just putting the camera together. We use white wood glue or any type of uh, wood glue, casein glue, and then we just nail it together. Uh, the joints, as you notice, all interlock and form a light lock to the camera. Gives you a good gluing edge. The camera's tight and strong. You could probably run over it with a truck if you wanted to. <laughs> it's a very strong camera. Notice the 4x5 holder falls right into the place and locks into place and there's the film clamp on how the film clamp holds the film uh, holder into the camera. You cannot remove it as long as the clamp is in place. You have the socket on the bottom and the lens piece in the front. At this point we're going to make the pinhole. This is the critical part. You need a number nine embroidery needle for this camera. Go to uh, a clothing store in the notions department, take, you can buy it a number nine embroidery needle. It's wise to take a thin piece of metal, put it between two small pieces of cardboard, two business cards work, and kind of twist the needle as you're pushing it through the cardboard a little bit. There's always a little projection on the back of the metal that has to be filed off smooth, and then you have to constantly refit this, and slide the needle back through that hole, refile it, make sure it's smooth, look through the piece of uh, metal and you can see a perfectly round hole and uh, you can test it. Cut it out to a what, two inch square. We use uh, masking tape and position it in your camera so that it's in the front and just use masking tape to hold it in place in the back. That way if you decide you want to change the pinhole you can. What we're doing here is mounting the sights so that you can aim the pinhole camera pretty straightforward just putting in four little uh, brass round headed uh, nails. You sight over the top of these nails and on the side of the film holder and from one nail to the other and this shows you the angle that the pinhole camera is seeing. The shutter just fits right into the front. If you notice at this point the camera is complete. It's ready to take pictures. It's light tight. This and everything is in place. This is the finished camera, ready for you to finish the outside of the camera any way you want. 